guys, Holly here and I am at the E3 PlayStation booth and we are talking about Drive Club. Now I'm with Alex and behind us Jamie is playing and he's going to try and do his very, very best. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so when I interviewed Jamie last, we asked some community questions and one of the questions was, will we see things like dynamic weather? Jamie quite coyly said, oh, what if we've got some time, we might put it in. Do you want to tell us about Dynamic Weather in Drive Club? Yes, Dynamic Weather. Yeah, um, we've been trying to add it over the last couple of weeks. Um, I've been working on it for a while, but um, we, <laughs> we gave it to the ice and it's uh, starting already to look pretty damn sunny. Um, I'm very pleased with the results. Uh, you'll see some screenshots of it. And it really does, really starts to sell the locations. You know, snow in Norway, rain in Scotland, looks lovely. Uh, will these have effects on the tracks and on the cars as well? Oh yes, yeah. Everything gets wet. Everything gets moist. You know, the handling changes. You know, if you really want to start drifting, then you want to ma make it all wet and start drifting around corners. It's a lot easier. So, do you have the ability to change this? I know with the weather and the cycles, you have that ability to put it on. You know, 60 times as fast, yeah. so you get a nighttime cycle. You can do that as well. Yeah, yeah. The player will have the opportunity to be able to turn it wet, or go from wet to dry, or from dry to wet, or even wet dry wet. You know, there's. Just the engine is capable of doing anything, so it's all about balance, balancing it for really good, fun gameplay. Now, while that might make things more tricky, obviously, if it's a, if it's a damn track, you've got to be way more careful. Will that somehow affect the points you get for winning, or uh, not? Not that. Um, that's just one thing we haven't thought about. It's certainly. I'm going to have to pressure Paul about that because it's something that should go in the design. It's much harder driving at night in the snow than it is driving during the day with no clouds. So, yeah, good idea. Uh, so how has it E3 been for you guys? Because uh, you know, loads of people are really, really excited for Drive Club now. It's gone through some beautiful changes. I mean, the game is now looking absolutely stunning. So uh, where are we now with development? Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're getting towards the, the final hurdle. We're, we're pretty much starting or in the middle of beta at the moment. So yeah, everything's uh, settled down and it's looking good, playing well, and it's looking really solid. Brilliant. Uh, so I know loads of people were asking about cars. So tell us some of the favourite cars that you've got in it, and if there's any that you can tell us, so you know people might not be aware of. Well, I'm a big fan of the McLaren P1. It has to be said. You know, it really makes it stick to the road. You can throw it around and really get some cracking times out of it. Uh, I've got a slight soft spot for the Ferraris as well. The Ferrari 458 is just—it's a beautiful car, and I love driving it. So it's yeah, it's really nice. There you go. That is our quick chat about dynamic weather in Drive Club, which uh, Jamie ever so kindly hinted at in the last <laughs> video. Uh, thank you so much for your time. You guys are super busy. Excellent. Brilliant. Thank you. Uh, Jamie, you've done really well. I'm very <laughs> impressed. He hasn't crashed once. Isn't he good? Yeah, he is. You think this is all he does in the office all day? Uh, yeah, probably. He's, <laughs> he doesn't sit anywhere near me, so I never get to see what he does. Well, there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to stay tuned to the channel for more from E3 and, of course, more from Drive Club. Thanks.